and we hope you're having a great Tuesday. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. Joining me this evening, as always, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Look at the 76ers starting group. The captain, he's in at point guard. Paul George is out there with Gian Lee. Then there's Trevor Book, and it's Martin in at the two guard. For the Thunder, Durant, Ibaka, and Perkins compose the front court. Westbrook and Harden in the back. Year. What's going on, everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the super man of YouTube. Um, most of y'all might have seen my how to get assists and score when driving in the lane video. Now, this is something like a follow up. This is, how should I say, how to get your team involved. How to actually get your team on the scoreboard instead of you putting up 50 to 60 points a game trying to, you know, get in these nail biters with other teams that. They have 24 points, 21 points, 12 points, 10 and 10. It seems like their starting five is in double digits, while your starting five is struggling to even get five points on the board. Now, another title you might want to call it is How to Survey the Floor. Now, check this out, right? See how I throw it in the booker, and they actually get a little bit of team basketball going as G gets that crazy stand-up dunk. He deserved a slam cam, but it's all good. Now, if you notice throughout this video, you'll notice that I'm stopping, you know, waiting for offensive players to get in the game. That right there was a total fail, but I will let Cephalosha get this slam cam. He deserved it, you know. Um, he ran the floor, you know, even though he was jogging. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, watch watch the entire video, you know, even, you know, probably watch it twice, man. You're going to see a lot of things that I do. Like, check this out. See how I slow down and wait for the bounce pass to Yee? Now, after that crossover, I could have passed it to him, you know, in midair. But sometimes you got to wait. Sometimes you got to actually see what's going on in the offense, see what people are cutting at what given time, just like right there. Now, I knew that George wanted to cut, and he got bumped. So, I sent Booker on a nice little pick and roll and opened it up for my man George. Now, the one thing that I that I did notice, you know, when you're passing the ball so much, you do get a lot of turnovers. So, if you're not that type of person that wants to average about three, four turnovers a game, then this is not for you. But if you're one of those people that don't want to put up 50, 60 point games and people calling you a... Uh, uh, a try hard or you know a hacker or you're using the game for his exploits then this is what you want to do now check this out see how i stood in the middle of the lane and waited for for the both of the defenders to draw to me before i threw it to ye that's some of the things that you guys have to do now check this out right here man we're gonna get on a break now you see my man george right see how i'm waiting I waited so all the defenders drew to me before I threw it to him for the three-point shot. Now, he was wide open. Now, if you notice throughout the video, your teammates will hit wide open shots, but sometimes they may not take them, just like right there. Ye didn't want the ball, so I passed it back to him, and, you know, he did his thing. You know, that's what you want your teammates to do. You want to try to get it inside. You want to do a lot of post-ups. You want to do a lot of fast-break three-pointers. Now, why I say fast break three-pointers is because if you want one of those type of people that want to throw alley-oops all the time, if you don't got the right people running the floor, you're not going to get those alley-oops off. I'm just keeping it in the 100 with you guys. Real talk. Now, check out Yee as he does that nice screen. Now, see how I threw it to a different person? I got the whole team involved. Good ball movement. Pass to assist. That's what you got to do, guys. You just can't focus on one player. Now, check out my man Kmart right there. See how I waited and waited for the defense to draw to me once again? Kmart is lighting this thing up. Now, check it out. I'm on a fast break. I pass it to George. Guess what he does? He pops it out to Kmart once again. Kmart is on fire. They could not stop this guy in the second quarter. And and just because I only had four points doesn't mean that my team isn't up. We're up 20, guys. We're up 20 points. I only have 10 assists. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you. Look, now I got 11. You know, my man Yee, he was doing his thing. But you guys have to realize, I didn't have to do much at all. But but right here is the last play to have. Check out my man Yee on a nice stand-up dunk. Let's get into halftime, guys. First half, a pretty lopsided affair. 76ers on top, just dominating this one. 
And welcome, everyone, to the latest edition of HP at the Half. Thanks so much for joining me. A great team effort so far by the 76ers. Playing great basketball of late, this game's no different. For Kevin Martin, it's been way too easy against the Thunder. He scored 16 points, and it's been bombs away from outside. And for the Thunder, it's been all hustle. They're putting forth an all-out offensive effort on the glass. A nice first half turned in by Kevin Durant. He's been one of their more dependable shooters in this game, knocking it down better than 50%. And now let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. All right, we back at it, you guys. I just got subbed into in the third quarter, right? Now, notice this. It's 72 to 55. We're going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, check out that alley-oop. This is what happens when you survey the floor. I knew that my man Kmart was going to be on the break. I knew that KD was way too close to me to even tip that out of midair. So, I just threw it up and he went for it. Now, as I was playing this game... I was thinking to myself, I can't be winning by this much. Why am I winning by so much? And I and, and I realized everybody else is scoring. Every single person on my team has double digits besides me. Now check out that nice little pick and roll. See how I didn't throw it to Booker? See how I threw it to Yee? You got to survey the floor. You got to know who's opening at what given time. Now check us out on the break right now. What do you think is about to happen, man? Dom City, go get it, Yee. Go get it. <laughs> Yo, who would have ever thought that Yee would be balling like this, man? When Yee was first acquired to the Sixers on this My Player mode, I was like, ah, what am I going to do? He knows how to shoot jump shots, but he's showing me a lot of athleticism right now. Check out Yee again on a nice stand-up dunk. I was feeding this man. I'm telling you, I was giving him hamburgers fries chili fries i was giving them two large drinks <laughs> i was just feeding them man um and check out book oh whew. yo this place is really dom city in philadelphia man i love this point guard man he does it all the old finish either the big stuff yeah little something for everybody kevin So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Well, Kevin, our spark of the game in this one, the stretch by the 76ers. Their lead continues to grow as the game progresses. They've shown absolutely no mercy and continue to find a way to add to their lead every trip down the floor, guys. Doris, thanks. Uh, that run, Clark. All right, check it out, you guys. I just got subbed in with about nine minutes left in the game. We're up a bunch. We're up a whole lot. Now, check me out as I try to get my double swipe on. Even though I missed it, it was a little second too late, I could have blocked that alley-oop, man. I think I could have, man. I'm only 6'1", but my vertical is crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, man, Um, I got about, what, 8 points, 21 assists. I'm doing my thing right now, man. I was really feeling myself this game. Now, as soon as I got subbed in at the point guard position, I did my little thing. Now, check it out with the foul. I should have really got fouled, man. I don't know what be happening, but look, I, got, I even got subbed out. They don't need me. My team didn't need me to win this game. Like, they were subbing me out in and out of the fourth quarter. I'm like, damn, where are all my minutes going? But they start getting a whole lot closer, so, you know, they decided to sub me back in. They said, you know what? We do need our star to seal this game. So you know what I did best, man. I just laced my shoes up and got back in the game. Now check out Westbrook, man. Check out the feed to cook. That thing is milk. Like, now they were taking a little bit of uh, plays out of our playbook, man. But they were still doing the whole fast break thing, man. The more that you do these little fast breaks, the more you're going to get slammed on. <laughs> you feel me? Look, they got to take time out. It was a wrap, man. They couldn't hold us down. Whew. Man, and I got a double-double. What you know about that, man? Now, check out this play right here. Westbrook comes down, you know, tries to give me the 50-50 fake out. Nate Robinson, I don't know what he was doing. But, check out fucking... What? Look at this. Hold on. Let's get another... Look at this fucking replay. He grabbed that shit over like eight people, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was a crazy ending of the game play right there, man. It was a good game to play, you guys. Even though I didn't put up a lot of points, my team showed me that they could win without me. You feel me? I didn't have to be the scoring dude to win the game. 
Now, if you guys have any questions about how I did this or what difficulty I, I'm on or whatever, just, you know, hit me up in the comment section. You already know. Um, this is IKC signing out. Um, also, on another note, I just grabbed that UFC, guys. So definitely look out for my creation vid real soon. And, you know, I did fight a couple fights. So I'm going to be getting that popping as well. Um, I'm going to holler at y'all in, in a few. You know what I'm saying? Right in the comment section. All right, you guys. Peace. You're the league's leading scorer right now. Would you classify yourself as a scorer, or are you a bit surprised to find yourself in that position? Nah, I ain't surprised in the least. I'm definitely a scorer, man. Been a scorer my whole life. Ever since I was balling as a little youngin'. Watching guys like Kobe and AI, I knew that one day I'd be leading the league like they did. There's more to it than just scoring, though. I'm here to win championships above all else. And most of the time, I'm going to have to score a lot of points to make that happen. But that's what you have to measure yourself by, how many titles you won. Because if that answer is zero, then all the times you led the league in scoring don't mean nothing.